to a very disturbing story. More than 100 incidents of inappropriate touching captured on school surveillance. 28 students involved, many of them just in first grade. Those are the allegations that led the grand jury to indict a former gym teacher on dozens of sex abuse counts. Anjanette Levy is live in Warren County for us with these disturbing details. Anjanette. Well, Rob, John Austin Hopkins was a gym teacher at Clear Creek Elementary School, and the prosecutors say said that the little girls in his gym class absolutely loved him, and they had no idea what he was doing was wrong. He's now indicted on sex charges involving 28 first grade girls. Hopkins is now in the Warren County Jail facing 36 counts of gross sexual imposition. Warren County's prosecutor says his office has identified 88 potential victims, but the grand jury indicted on charges involving 28 girls. David Fornshell says all of the incidents happened in the school's gym during gym class, and all of the incidents from December of last year through March of this year were captured on videotape. The allegations involved inappropriate touching. Frankly, they loved him as a teacher because of the amount of affection that he was showing them. What these kids didn't realize was this was completely inappropriate and criminal. It was felony conduct that he was engaging in. Now, Hopkins was a full-time gym teacher this past school year. The year before that, he was a long-term sub at Springboro Schools. The superintendent of the schools issued a statement earlier today saying that Hopkins was placed on leave immediately in March when the allegations came to light. Uh, the school district says it's cooperating fully with the investigation, and we've reached out to Hopkins' attorney for a comment, but so far he hasn't gotten back to us. Rob, back to you. Very disturbing, Anjanette. Thanks very much. Records show John Hopkins had been approved as a substitute teacher in Butler County from 2015 through 2017. He was also a swim coach at the Kaufman YMCA in Springboro, but resigned in March. There's no evidence at this point that any abuse happened there.